The Big 12 commissioner was on hand to see the volleyball match between number one Baylor and number four Texas in Austin on Wednesday. The match ended in straight sets as the Bears lost for the first time this season. Texas has been the standard Big 12 for a long time and we got to be able to rise, rise to that standard and um, you know, ultimately, they're still really physical, so we got to play better volleyball. Baylor was led by Yasiana Presley, who finished with 18 kills. Yet the Bears were outmatched by UT's Breon Butler, who finished with 12 kills and eight blocks. You know, for Texas, a healthy Breon Butler is uh, really helps a lot too. You know, she's she's just been coming around, and and they're a whole different team with her out there. You know, she helps them offense, helps them on defense. Texas also boasted the largest crowd that Baylor has seen this season as Gregory Gymnasium was sold out and held over 4,200 fans. Oh, we were definitely expecting this atmosphere because um, number one team, number four team, obviously is going to have a lot of people here. So um, with that being said, like I knew what was going to happen. We all knew, but we just let the crowd get a little bit, you know, in our heads a little bit. So This was like a Final Four atmosphere, a lot of hype, everyone coming to do that. and and uh, experience is showing like a lot of teams that get there for the first time tend to struggle and then they really kind of realize it. The Bears may have lost for the first time, but Coach McGuire and company have plenty of positive takeaways. It's a sting, but it's a good sting. I feel like it needed to happen because we've been kind of um, not playing our way for the past few matches. So I feel like this needed to happen and we're going to get back into the gym and work on what we need to work on and just get stronger as a team. So kudos to Texas State that had a great match. While the loss looms heavy, Baylor will face Texas yet again later next month in the Farrell Center. And hopefully it's for a Big 12 championship. We, you know, we want it to mean something, always means something. We're trying to play every game one match at a time. But, uh, you know, just just means really means if, if our seniors want to want to beat Texas this year, they have to win that one because we didn't win, win this one. For Larry at TV News, I'm Drake Toll.